some Magnum PI stuff right here, boys. We about to go on another mission. Uh, that you're in possession of one of our stolen manifolds. Oh my God. Look at that. That's the that's the graphics that we put on it when it was on our displays. Can you see this bad boy real quick? Hey boss, I'm gonna I'm gonna be taking this manifold back. Okay, this is my manifold, Nitrous Express. What's up guys, Brent here with Nitrous Express and we got another banger for you. Another video of me going and retrieving some stolen product. Before we get into it, let's give you a brief history lesson. So about four or five years ago, we had our crew with our truck, our NX trailer, full of merch, heading to a race in Valdosta, Georgia. I believe it was a lights out race, but don't quote me on that. Our guys pull up to a hotel in Valdosta, Georgia, crash out, wake up the next morning, truck's gone. So we have security footage, check it out. They just walked right up to it like it was theirs, broad daylight, and took off. Fast forward a few years later, we got a tip of one of our intakes that was posted on someone's Facebook post, kind of bragging that they just purchased it. So hang out with us and follow along, because it's a pretty awesome story. Another so one you, of our intakes? Here, let's pull it. That's definitely an intake. That, I think I'm, that's the one that we had displayed in the trailer. Yeah, it still has all of our display spacers and hardware yeah. on it. Yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, we bolted that one intake, that one solenoid down there. That's all. That, that is the one that's in the trailer. Yep. Where's the dude at? Uh, Georgia. Well, trailer was stolen in Georgia. That's and it's got to be it. That means this guy can get us to the rest of the stuff. You think we ought to call the cops, or what do you think we ought to do? Uh, not yet. I wonder if we. I'll, let me do a little bit of investigation. Let me see what this guy's about. Maybe this guy just bought it, and yeah. maybe he can lead us back to wherever the rest of the stuff is. Yeah. I'm like, I don't want to throw this guy, I don't want to throw stones at him yet. No, no, I'm not saying he uh, stole it, but he's obviously saying we're going to... Yeah, we're going to be like, back. He's going to use that, right? Yeah, so. yeah. So I'm wondering, and it looks like he just bought it. I mean, he's kind of showing it off, so he might be able to help yeah. us find the rest of the stuff. Yeah. Abney, I figured I'd do a little research in that area in Georgia right there on Marketplace. What was the city that the trailer was actually stolen from? Well... So it was stolen in Valdosta at the rate, uh, we were about to go to the races to lights out. And, uh, but it was, the trailer was found in Conyers, Georgia. Let's see, Monroe to Georgia. Monroe, Georgia to Conyers. It's only, it's only 21 miles away, dude. From where the trailer was taken, or where the trailer was recovered, to where this intake has just surfaced, uh, 21.2 miles. I mean, that makes so, sense. That's I, where the trailer was found. Yeah, definitely. I mean, that just confirms everything. That's definitely the intake. So now we just got to figure out. Let's just, I'm going to try to find the source. Yeah. So. Riding on it. Look at that. That's the, that's the graphics that we put on it when it was on our displays. And that's in Covington, Georgia. That's got to be close, right? I wonder if that's the guy who he bought stuff from. Well, what's that? <gasps> that's it. Dude. That's it. Is that the same dude? Yep. Okay, so that's the other lid. We had two lids on there, and that was the silver version. He sold that one. That's that's it, because that's raw. Like, that's not even... Well, yeah, we had two of them. But yeah. We had two on that display. We had a silver one, and we had a black one. Well, it's interesting, because we've searched that area, well, the Atlanta area before, and like Conyers. We searched it before, didn't see anything that looked like this. This is the first time that we've seen anything that we can say, that's our display. Alrighty, jumped on Expedia here. Got a flight ready to go. Got all of our research done, homework done. So we're gonna head out tonight. And just like that, we're here at the airport. Uh, flying out in about 20 minutes or so, 30 minutes. Uh, landing in Monroe, Georgia. Actually, we're landing in Atlanta, Georgia. We have a rental car and we'll be driving over to our contact in Monroe. A uh, good buddy of mine, whatever, we're going to kind of help coordinate and stay with him, etc. So, man, I'm excited. Alrighty, it's the next morning. We landed, got a good night's sleep, 
Got our rental whip here ready to go. And we're on our way. We're going to meet our contact that's out here. Uh, and then from there, we're gonna head over to the gentleman that's actually got the intake posted for sale on Marketplace. So, man, I'm excited. I can't wait. I love this type of stuff. So hopefully we'll find some more of our product there once we arrive. Sick. He said it get gapped, boy. Alrighty, so we're here. We got old boy on his way over here with the intake manifold. We're here at my our contact Ben helping us out here. Thanks, man. Shout out for sure. Um, so old boy's on his way here with the intake. So we're gonna hopefully get the intake back from him and then get a little information on where there might be some more parts. Uh, like I said, I got some evidence and stuff that he's had multiple manifolds for sale according to Facebook Marketplace and whatnot. So hopefully we'll get uh, hopefully we'll get somewhere. Yeah, I think so. I'll take a video so I can send it to my guy and make sure. Yeah, make sure that's the one we need. Turn it around real quick. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the one with the spray bars. Turn it around the other way real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Send that to him, see what he says. Can you see this bad boy real quick? Thank you. Hey boss, I'm gonna I'm gonna be taking this manifold back. Okay, this is my manifold, Nitrous Express. I'll give you my card. I'll give you a certified letter that I do have right here. Okay. Uh, this is actually a stolen manifold. Oh, dang! I'm sorry. Here's your letter. Here's my police report. I do have a police report right here. Uh, I am documenting all of this for legal purposes and for our social media stuff. Just so you are aware, uh, but I'll give you my card. Okay. Just so you can see who I am. My name is Brant with Nitrous Express. Yes, sir. Um, I did notice after I'd done some research, uh, before I call the cops and we get you in some legal trouble and stuff, because I do have a police report here and everything like that, okay. uh, you were in possession of stolen property. I do have all of the identifying markings. This is our text that's on here. It would only be on this one manifold ever. And these solenoids and whatnot, a few things on this manifold that identify it to be this one manifold only. So I did notice on Marketplace you sold a few of other of our manifolds. So I'd like to uh, know if you could tell me where you got them. Uh, my buddy bought a storage unit over in Covington. Okay, so do you have any more of these items for sale I could get back from you while I'm here? Before no, that, I only had two. He was only two of them. It was that and one other one. Okay, what was the other one off of? Do you remember the color and everything off the other one? Uh, it was it was uh, polished aluminum. Polished aluminum. Okay, I did see that one on. Uh, yeah. I did see that one on Facebook. Mark, that Man, was I one don't, I seen. I don't. I don't steal. You know what I'm saying? Like I. I, I I'll be honest with you, I have, I have no idea. Okay. As far as, uh... Uh, do you want, you, you said you bought it from your buddy who bought it from a storage unit, or you bought a storage uh, he, unit yourself? He, he, no, he did, but, uh, but I bought it from him. Okay, uh, yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to kind of follow that chain of events and see if I can figure out the source of where these came from, because we had no a problem. significant amount of these things that, uh, come up missing. You yes, know sir, I mean? so no I'd problem. Like to, I'd like to not go the legal way, and I'd like to just try to recoup as much product as I can without getting anybody in trouble, because it has been a few years, and stuff like this does trickle down, and yeah. you could have bought it from a swap meet or a storage unit, and yeah, I did. it's not, I, not always fair to get that person in trouble, you yeah, know what I mean? I don't need no trouble. I mean, so, you know, I don't the only know. thing I'm asking is just help trying to get everything else back, or Sir, some I, of the stuff I, back, I would do anything you know what I mean? can. You so, know, I, where's I don't, the I don't other like one? a thief. Do you know? Uh, I sold it to a, dude, to a boy up in Atlanta. He come down here from Atlanta and got it. I mean, I, I'll even call him and... And, you know, tell him I give him his money back, whatever. I, I, you know, I just don't need no trouble, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am going to be up in Atlanta, so I would like to get that one back. Uh, I'm, okay. I'm flying out of Atlanta, so if you could arrange for me to get that manifold back as well. Okay. Uh, you know, if you got to give him your, you know, his money back, I apologize for that. I'll see if I can, you know, send you some shirts or something like that to try to compensate you. What you did you around. give him for, what did What did he pay you for the manifold? For the, uh, for the other one? Yeah. $500. Yeah, I think you had them both up for like 500 bucks or something yeah. like that, so. I look at up the price. Look at the, what was stolen. Show him that display. <clears throat> yeah, I'll show you the. Uh, but this was all stolen in a trailer from a motel in Coving in Conyers. Damn. Yeah, so then our, our enclosed trailer and our truck. Our truck is still missing. We got the trailer back, but just so you can see, this is our displays that were stolen. Yeah. This manifold right here is actually right there on display with the stickers still on it, and these are the stickers that have been scratched off. You can see that there. Yes, sir. Just I so you see can that. see 100% confirmation there. And then there's a few other ones. You can't see the silver one on here. Silver one's on the other side. Uh, but just to give you a, the gist of, you know, all of our product that was stolen. And I have a few others that are kind of on my sites that I'm going to try to track down while I'm here as well. So, all righty. So day three out here in Georgia, we have successfully taken possession of one of the manifolds that we found. The other one has been sold and uh, I cannot seem to find it. And I just keep getting dead ends. 
the Holly manifold that we found that was on Facebook, uh, kind of with a guy showing off that he just bought it. I was in contact with them last night. They were supposed to meet me today. They kind of agreed that, you know, they didn't want to have any trouble. They agreed to kind of meet me and uh, get, you know, surrender the manifold to avoid any uh, charges, anything like that. Well, we have since woken up this morning and they have changed their minds. Hello. Hey, how's it going, man? I was trying to reach Terry. Speaking. Hey, what's up, Terry? My name is Brent. Uh, just to let you know, the uh, conversation is being recorded. My name is Brent with Nitrous Express and Snow Performance. How you doing today, brother? Right, I'm doing very well, man. Uh, so it has come to my knowledge, uh, and I have some recorded evidence and a few other things uh, that you're in possession of one of our stolen manifolds. Oh my God. Yeah, and uh, so I just want to let you know, man. I, I'm a, uh, I'm way ahead of the curve. I've already flown to Georgia. I'm in, I'm in Monroe, Georgia, right now. I've already talked to the local police department, and everything like that. They've already helped me recover one of the manifolds. Uh, I'd like to kind of give you the opportunity before, I, even though I've already kind of presented all the evidence to the local PD, I'd like to kind of give you the opportunity to just give me the manifold back. And we go on about our business. And I'd like to kind of get you some credit back because I don't believe you're the one that stole it. I believe from the research I've done, it looks like you have just bought it off of Facebook Marketplace. Uh, so I'd like to kind of keep, I'd like to keep you out of trouble, bro. You know what I mean? I'd like to make it to where you don't get in trouble for possession of stolen property, nothing like that. I don't want to get you caught up. Um, what I'd like to do, man, is, you know, if I could just get that manifold back. Uh, and then once I get back to my shop, We'll kind of see what kind of reward or whatever, you know, I could offer you for helping me out. What are you talking about? Yeah, you know, the intake I bought. Yeah. They saying they sold it. Oh. They court. Oh. Um, oh, uh, my name is my name is Brent Albury, and I'm with Nitrous Express and Snow Performance, the manufacturer that that intake was stolen from. Uh, and I could kind of show you all the evidence. I could show you all the pictures, the police report. Uh, I've screen recorded your video of your in, the intake you posted. Uh, the reason why it's all separated like that is just because that's how we had it when it was on display. I just want to let you know, man, I don't believe that you have anything to do with it. Uh, I don't want to go. I don't want to press charges against you. Nothing like that. Just to let you know, man, I from everything I found, it looks like if you could confirm with me, it, it looks like you just bought it off of Facebook Marketplace. Let me make contact. He didn't buy. I'm the one that purchased it, uh, purchased something. Uh, let me talk to the female I got it from. So I was I was planning on going by Terry's shop and, and showing him all the information and and grabbing yeah. a manifold. So since I've been waiting to get, yeah. uh, I've been having to wait for contact information on the powder yeah. coater. Uh, can, can you get back? Cause right here, I'm going out the door, and I'm gonna go up on the steering wheel. I'll take my daughter to chili practice. Okay, so how? I just want to know, like, how? Can you call back? Can you call back? Maybe tomorrow. Yeah, no, no call? problem. I, I could, I okay. could, I could call you tomorrow. What time would be best okay. for you? And I, 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 I would call ideally if, like. If I would ideally just kind of like to arrange a meetup. You know, I'll call you tomorrow, okay. and we can arrange can a meetup. Me? Yeah, yeah. I'll talk to you in the morning. You call me back in the morning. Let me go out the door right quick so I won't be late. Okay, sounds good. Okay, all right, thank you. Bye. So I have been in contact with the local police department, turning over all the evidence I have against them, uh, turning over all the evidence that I have, you know, with the video on a social media, the identifying pictures and videos and stuff that I have. And uh, unfortunately, we're going to have to let, you know, the law enforcement take it from here. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we get some headway with it before we head home. And I'd like to have some good news, you know. Well guys, it looks like unfortunately we are not going to be able to recover that second manful that I was able to find. Uh, once kind of reaching out to the gentleman in question, after they kind of admitted having it and you know admitted saying that they kind of gave it back, they changed their mind. I uh, woke up this morning, I reached out to them, uh, they changed their mind. They basically told me they had no idea where the manifold was, they received their money back and they wanted nothing to do with it. So. I've turned it all over to the local law enforcement. We were not able to film too much today just for privacy reasons and law enforcement didn't really want me to film. Uh, but I turned over all of the evidence I have, the video recordings of them admitting that they had it, admitting that they bought it on Marketplace, uh, the video that I had taken from his Facebook profile of him having possession of it 
and comments saying that he bought it off of Facebook Marketplace. So, um, you know, I, I just kind of kind of turn it over to the, you know, local authorities and hope something comes of it. Uh, you know, unfortunately, I would have liked to do it myself. Um, you know, the legal system doesn't always kind of get everything done the way we'd like it to or we might not, you know, get the product back. And in this case, they, you know, the person clammed up and now it's MIA. But I was able to commandeer one of our manifolds back, so it wasn't exactly a mission failed. And you never know, hopefully with, uh, you know, the new evidence we provided with uh, I mean, maybe local law enforcement kind of turn over some new rocks, they might be able to find some new information. You never know, fingers crossed. So anyways, thanks guys as always for hanging out with us, hanging out with Nitrous Express, Snow Performance. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned because there's more stuff out there that I'm not letting go. You ain't gonna steal and get away with it, boys. Might be a while, but I'm coming for you. Mm. What's in the bag, boys? Nitrous Express. Bottle. Our seat. Intake safe and sound. Let's go, boys.